In part two of our three-part series, we cover using pocket wizards to trigger a remote camera. Remote cameras can commonly be found in locations that photographers cannot be in during the course of an event. For example, photographer Al Bello uses an underwater camera in the Olympic swimming pools. It's difficult to be in two places at the same time, but it's very easy to trigger two cameras at the same time. There are a couple of common practices that you can do when you're first setting up a remote camera to improve your results and make it safer for those around you. The first is a safety cable. Today we're using a super clamp and the Manfrotto variable friction arm. On our camera, we have the camera platform that comes with the variable friction arm. This allows you to directly mount your camera right onto the arm. And when you loosen this knob, it allows you to compose pretty much any way you'd like and then lock that position in place by just giving that knob a good hard twist. The next step, attach a pocket wizard and give the camera a test fire. Once that's in place, I like to connect my safety cable. Less time with it hanging out over heads or anything like that. Especially when a remote is straight down, the lens can drift a little bit. So once you have your composition, I like to put a piece of gaff tape right up top to keep the focal ring and the zoom ring right in place. And one more piece to make sure that the lens hood doesn't go anywhere. My name is Weber. I'm our digital tech here at PhotoCare. Uh, you can find us online at PhotoCare.com. If you have any questions about anything that we covered today, you can reach me at my email address right down here. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. We'd love to hear from you and see what you're up to. And thanks for watching.